Hey everybody, I'm Gunter and this is my first ever Europe in Ruins shoutcast. Europe in Ruins is a very popular mod for Company of Heroes, in which there is no base building, you build your army before the game begins, you call it on, and the first team to run out of units loses. If you want to know more, go to EuropeinRuins.com, you'll find out everything, you can watch some replays, more shoutcasts like this, and if you own Company of Heroes, I strongly recommend you get into it. It is fantastic. Um, this is a 2v2 that I'm shoutcasting between two, or three, or even four, sorry, English, of my good mates. Um, Chips and Gravy and Sedim on Allied, and Dessert Fox and XL312 on Axis. And as we start the game, we'll see exactly what factions they've taken. I'm spectating from Sedim's point of view, so they will be in blue and green. Chips and Gravy is playing, I believe he plays American Armored, he has started with a Jeep, two rifle squads, one with BARs, a mortar and an AT gun, Sedim plays as uh, British Commandos, he started with two Tommy squads, one with Bran gun, one with uh, rifle grenades, a engineer squad with Piets, a lieutenant, and a mortar squad. Let's turn off Fog of War and see what the Axis have taken. We have... Desert Fox playing as Wehrmacht Blitzkrieg, I believe, and XL213 playing as um, Panzer Elite Luftwaffe. Desert Fox has started with the Schwimmwagen scouting out front. He has Stormtroopers with Shreks already on the field, a uh, heavy machine gun, a mortar section and a pack. Dan has started, <clears throat> XL has started with a Marta 3, a infantry half track, uh, <clears throat> infantry half track, also known as a clown car, and a mortar half track. And let's see who draws first blood. The clown car has spotted the mortar and is taking it out, and the crew retreats. And that is a quad 50 from Chips and Gravy. The clown car has retreated. It saw the engineer Piatz building the tra uh, the trench, no doubt. Hang on a sec, we'll turn the sound off. There we go. Okay, so sit in, pushing out the right hand side with his Tommies, engineers, and his lieutenant. The auto is in lockdown, supported by the pack. The mortar half track is doing its best, and Ruben pulls back his stuff. City his stuff. Oh, on the left hand side, the Quad 50 has just spotted these <laughs> these stormtroopers who are stealth. They unstealth. They fire the Shrek. Two Shreks as a low health now, but it's a pin. And the Ruffman going to make mincemeat of them. And he retreats them. Slit trench complete, Captain. Okay. Now they're just going to reset themselves. Chips and gravy is going to try to capture some territory on the left hand side. Shimbargan from Desert Fox out front scouting. Infantry half track with its guys out is pressed forward. Trying to get a couple of kills. Water half track fired the incendiary round, but it didn't hit anything at all. Bit of area denial, I suppose. Allies currently has the majority of the territory and are gaining pop faster. Axe is going to have to attack to get them out of their positions and capture this territory back. Water half track is hitting up the trench line and the machine gun. Those engineers are down to one man, hoping in the building for safety. And it looks like the Axis along with okay, yes, XL213 has a couple of Falschmager units up and they're probably going to attack on this right hand side. The boarding, they have destroyed a German target. It looks like the Piat troops killed the Schumbar on the road sitting out the front. Oh no, the machine gun team is getting. Snap on the half track, he takes it out. 
hero alone here at Soldier. What a champion. On the left hand side, Rifle Squad runs into the Grenadier Squad and gets minced. Absolutely minced. But another Rifle Squad with BARs is coming under support and the Grenadiers are hopping in the building. Uh, unless they've got grenades, they're not going to be able to take him out. Sadim is pushing on the right hand side. There's two Alshimegi units with assault rifles just going to the car. Yeah, they're making pretty short work of those Tommy skills, that's for sure. Those rifle grenades might cause some damage though, if we've got a couple of good hits on them. Oh, it's close. Who's gonna come up for us for that? Tommy scored with friends down to the oh, down to two men. Oh, his focus firing the lieutenant. His focus firing the lieutenant. Is he gonna go down? Yes, he's down. And that means the Tommy's are gonna be completely minced. He's not retreating them, he's just running them away. I suppose that works. <laughs> the captain in the trench. Doing some hero work there, firing his revolver off at the enemy. And they reset quad 50. Trying to get those grenades out of the building, it was still there. Rifle squad with two men left. He retreats that one. down to one grenadier left in that barn. He just won't die. NCO reporting they have destroyed a German target. Here comes the Marta, who really wants to get a shot off on that Quad 50. No, not gonna get it. Quad 50's retreating back. Here comes a Panzer IV from Desert Fox. Pack his stealth in support. The mortar is firing on the Piat house and the mortar half track on the trench line. Section under yeah. attack. Someone's gotta get right. Over here. And two Falchion Jaeger squads are stealth behind the wall. Oh, uh, incendiary around on the trench line. That's gonna do a little bit of damage there. And he abandons the house with his lone Piat soldier. And he runs through the flames. No. Oh no. No. He survived somehow. He just pulls his infantry, his remaining infantry, back a bit. Heavy and we ready. do have the Vickers in a position. It does see the Falchion Jaeger, they get pinned. The Rifle Grenades do a little bit of damage. They are pinned, they are not going anywhere. Here comes the Panzer 4 off the road. Spots the 17 pounder position. Oh, he's got to back away from that pretty quick. And he does. Falchion Jaeger do manage to get away with their own very, very low health. Both, both squads are very low health and he does retreat one of them. The Mortar Half Track continuing to do its job. So as an allied player, the Mortar Half Track is probably my most hated, hated enemy to face. Never catch them in their fire and sundry rounds. Gearing up for an attack, these uh, desert fox is rushing the MG towards the house. But the Tommies are gonna steal the house from him. Two mortars, Penta 4 is there ready. They're not pushing, they're not attacking. Rifle Scott pushing on the left hand side, gonna catch that pack. Which is facing the other way for some reason, oh dear. Just for this attack, the Vickers emplacement is lighting up the machine gun team, just sitting out there by himself. What's he doing? And the mortar takes him down below half health. Oh, he loses a guy. That machine gun team is dead. Rifle nades. One guy left. He's pinned. Oh, sticky bomb on the Panzer IV. Bit too much going on for one guy to handle. Damaged engine, half health. He's gonna limp that one away. The Vickers emplacement is still on very high health, despite the number of mortars they have on the field. Quick look at territory, allies are still in, uh, still dominant. And there's a Tommy squad in that house that's on no health. He's gonna try to get it out, he's gonna put it in the trench line. I'd treat it if I was him. Here's the first Churchill Mark VI on the field from Sadim. That's gonna be a thorn in the society, I assume. 
Tentafor is limping behind the uh, town buildings there. Two Falchimega squads approaching on the left hand side, backed up by the Martyr 3. And Grenadier, Mortar, and Pentagrenadiers. 50 is already on it. They're recruiting the pack. The Martyr is hitting up that. Quad 50 is going to go down. And he's down. Grenadiers with MG. Grenadiers with MGs pushing up on the left hand side, heading for that house. Martyr 3 stand put. Mortar. Penta 4 hasn't repaired. He's following him in. That rifle squad is getting into the retreat. I, I, I like the way the Axis team is supporting each other there. They're running back and forth. They're combining their forces for pushes, at least more than the Allied team is. The Churchill, out there all on his lonesome, he's turning around and running back. 17 pounder replacement is still up, but it's got most of its health left. AT gun and mortar are alone, unsupported. The Churchill is on the way. Wouldn't surprise me if they go if they go down to these grenadiers. Churchill knocking down the hedges. The AT gun retreats. Here comes the FJs. Calliope on the field. Chips and gravy. Oh, those Russian have to retreat. Calliope shotgun would have taken them out otherwise, giving um, the mortar a chance to survive. Here comes the Panzer IV, Panzer IV, the Churchill, and face off. Here comes the Marta to put some shots on the Churchill as well. Churchills have a lot of health, They're very hard to take down. First shot from the Churchill, bounces, bounce. They were penetrated, but like I said, so much health, they're so hard to take down, even when you do get penetrated shots. 17 pounder has turned around, it did get one shot off from the Panzer IV, but it missed. That one hit, oh boy. One more shot from that 17 pounder and it's gonna go down. Misfire? It misfired and didn't get the shot off. Mortars are now coming down the 17 pounder replacement, down below half health. Won't, won't last very long the mortars concentrate fire on it. There's the incendiary round. Direct hit from that mortar. That 17 pounder is, is gone. And the fire is doing damage to the mortar crews here. And that mortar crew has to retreat. An entire unit is KIA. And the 17 pounder replacement is dead. Pens are pushing up on the left hand side. It's on low health damage danger. The rifles are coming up. Do they have sticky bombs? They're lining up to throw for it. Hopping in the trench there. There's the sticky bomb. Oh, and there. it's that down! That rifle squad got that one for that. Machine gunner on the left hand side. The action is on oh, the right hand side rather, but the action is all over on the left. Grins with machine gun in the house. Would have done damage to that. I can hear Falchimega landing somewhere. Falchimega can parachute in an EIR. Churchill is down around half health, poking around by himself. He's gonna the martyrs. Yeah. Will he be able to take on the martyr by himself? Oh, penetrating shot! About a quarter health now. That one bounced. Mata's down to half health. Mata's down to a quarter health. This is a race. Oh, the Mata beats the Churchill to it and gets met for it. Meanwhile, the Falchimiega are beating up on the Rathman on the left-hand side. Too easy. Those Falchimiega with those MG 34s are just absolute, absolute beasts. And they're going to go after this AT gun easy. It's high, especially supported by the Mata. That crew's gonna die, but the oh the Calliope shotgun's gonna light them up. Both squads down to half health. They're walking away from the board operations. They are going to survive, but they are suppressed. We'll have to get up in a sec. The AT gun did still go down. Here comes the Tommies. One with friends, one with rifle grenades, and they're gonna be a match for these Falchimega. And Falchimega wisely running away.
say running, this one's crawling. Because they're a little bit stupid. Allies still have the territory. We have a bit of action going over around here on the right hand side. Vet 2P4 is lighting up the Vickers emplacement. And some grenadiers have just hopped into that house. And there's the mortar setting up there. That's a machine gun in the house, sorry. And there's the mortar setting up behind him. And the grenadiers are going to the right hand side. Is coming up the side. Now the Axis have the majority of the territory. It's plus 0.47 for Allies, plus 0.53 pop for Axis. Second Churchill is now on the field from Seddon. He's going to have to focus fire on the MG, or is he focusing on the P4? Not much damage on that 3 pound gun that Churchill has had, but that is a pretty even matchup because of the Churchill's huge health. Double M10s! Double M10s for Chips and Raiden. He's going to try and get around that P4, and it is on no health, 5% bug. Main gun destroyed, the martyr is in supporting fire, one M10 goes down, yet the second M10 should be able to circle straight through. Number three. It misses its first shot though, that could be devastating, and the hedge in the row, no, it's got circle strafe and the Churchill in support, which means that that martyr is going to go down. And there it goes. On the left hand side we do have a build up of forces, infantry half track from XL along with the pack. The Falchion Jaegers, the Panzer Grands, and the Mortar half track The M10 is coming across. The pack is just setting up. It does get its first shot off. The M10 is down below half health. The Falchion Jaegers should have Panzerfausts. It's just gone stealth. The M10 is focusing on the Mortar half track. Is he going to get it? He, he does. Enjoy the German time. Here comes the Panzerfaust from the FJs. Shot, rear arm hit. It's on low health, if the half track goes down, the church will get to that. Now they're going to focus fire on the pack, which is not moving at all, and the crew retreats. Over on the left hand side, there is a Felschermaker squad probably trying to capture this territory. And a staghound just hanging out. The target has been knocked out. Because it can. Captain in the trench, dueling with the machine gun team in the house with his revolver. He's not going to survive. And he dies before he gets a chance to retreat. And how is this for the surprise? Oh! <laughs> I spoke too soon. The biggest emplacement finally going down to more shots. The M10, still on no health, is trying to do some damage to his machine gun team in his house. Um, very little on the field from Excel at the moment. Just that Falchion Mega squad. I'm sure he's bringing on something soon. Here comes a Stormtrooper squad to the house. If they get a shot off on that M10, it is going to die! One shot misses, and he retreats into the Calliope. XL has brought on another Marta 3 and a Falchion Jaeger squad. Ruffman with bars, Ruffman without bars on the left-hand side, trying to recapture this territory, but he's going to have to go to the Falchion Jaeger squad. Uh, the Staghound and the Ruffman are going to get short left in his Falchion Jaeger. Too easy, they die, and they're going to capture this territory. Tide territory at the moment, but as soon as this territory goes blue, and it does, allies now back on top, but only barely. Tommy squad call in, just sitting there in the in the dry riverbed, because they can. Getting mortared by the Wehrmacht mortar team there, and a stormy squad poking around the road. And the machine gun now lighting the Tommies, and they are suppressed taking a bit too much damage, so he's just going to try crawl them down the river. Here comes a Bren carrier with machine gun. Calliope shotgun is firing on the mortar team. Not going to do it. Nearly takes it out, it's on very low health. Bren carrier is now shooting the Calcium Jaeger, that have come over from the left hand side to support it. Chips of Gravy is capturing territory on the left hand side, so now allies are well ahead of the territory. Heads fast and they're not set friend carrier at all, but it is going down small arms fire, and XL wisely pulls back. The Stormtrooper squad still hanging out in the road, it's just patrolling back and forth, I guess. Let's have a look at the build up behind the lines. There is XL's martyr along with the Desert Fox's pack. He's got 
that uh, Grenadier squad with machine gun, that's a Falchimaker squad. Just being spotted by those Raffman, the Raffman are going to retreat, it's a bit too much to handle. The mortar half track as well. Probably going to take a shot, is he? No, I guess not. Here comes the stag hound, but I guess he doesn't know about the pack. He is pulling back. Is the pack going to get a shot? No, he doesn't. In the middle of Stormy Squad was spotted by an engineer where they were placing some mines. Right there. Brand Carrier still hanging out on the right hand side. Minding his own business. Tommy's still on pretty good amount of health, pushing up the middle behind the infantry half track. Not much in the oh, there's the AT gun, they're gonna have to bring up if they want to take it off. Brand Carrier's chasing it down. It's been buttoned. It's not gonna do much because it's still pretty quick. Is the Marta going to get a shot? Yes, he does! On low health, that Bren Carrier is. And the Panzerfaust from the Falschemjäger. It's main gun destroyed. He's going to have to pull that one back. Pretty close game, but allies just on top of the population the whole time. I wonder if that's going to be the deciding factor. Unless the deciding factor is the teamwork. Here comes a Stuka. Must have been just a recon run, so he has seen the Calliope. Is he going to drop the Stuka on the Calliope proper? The Calliope knows he's been spotted, and Chips and Gravy retreats it. And here go the Tommies on the right-hand side, pushing all the way over the edge of the map into the Orchid here. The AT gun and the mortar in support, and two mortars in support. One also from Chips and Gravy. On the left-hand side of the field, we have the machine gun emplacement along with the stag hand on the right. It looks like there's going to be an engagement over here. Falchion is already riding the Tommies. They both take cover behind the wall, shooting along the wall. Falchion are supported by... Here's, a, here's another Falchion squad. The Marder, the Mortar Half-Track, and the Infantry Half-Track should be able to make short work of an isolated uh, Tommy group. The they have destroyed a German target. Oh, the Falchion could go down and the Calliope Barrage comes in, but it's not going to hit anything. And he retreats the last... It does hit something. It's the last Falchion Maker squad, which is going to retreat. It didn't hit anything, so everything else was going to get. So it's a bit of a waste of a Calliope Barrage. Sedum is moving the... Tommy's back across the map. It looks like there's a little bit of an effort from Desert Fox over here to make a push by himself. He's got the Schwimmwagen up front. And he is going to capture that territory. The Axis are going to have to capture some territory if they want to stay in this game. And it's it's a small it's a small difference, that pop per minute, but it does add up as the game draws on and we're 22 minutes in now. The pack is hitting up the machine gun emplacement. They want that one down if they want to if they want to advance through this gap. The Stormies are inching their way forward stealthed. And the mortar is trying to take out the pack, which is vet 2. Mm. Uh, the Tommies and the Bren Carrier are crossing the road in the middle, and they are trying, I guess, to sneak up on the pack, but they get caught by the infantry half track. And the mortar. Contact the board. Enemy vehicle has been knocked out. Machine gun does go down in the pack, and now the stormtroopers are free to do their thing. They nearly take out the mortar. Mortar half track is doing damage to these Tommies, they're hiding behind the husk of that Churchill. They have buttoned the infantry half track, but I don't know how much good it's going to do. And he is pulling them back and taking lots of casualties, and the mortar brings them down. Not much health at all, the infantry half track is going to chase. That's one Tommy squad suppressed. Will he be able to finish them, finish them off? And he retreats. He does escape, and that one also retreats. Stormy squad under stealth. Pushing up through that gap again. The pack inched his way forward. Axe is just going to recapture this territory here, which is now neutral. As I've said, it's something we need to do. Here's a push from Excel. This side is wide open. All that he, all there is is a couple of mortars. Which, nonetheless, made a lot of damage, uh, did a lot of damage to that Grey Squad. But there's only a couple of mortars, the Bren Carrier, with the Stormers, they should be able to easily um, take out the Bren Carrier, clean out this flank and start capturing territory. There's some damage on the Bren Carrier. 
Here comes the Sherman and the Calliope Barrage. That might be enough to stop their flames in their tracks. Sherman Crocodile. So, because they're a negative cover, the flame isn't going to, the, the flame from the Crocodile is going to be doing much damage, but he still wants to retreat them. He wants to keep that vet there. Having said that, they have captured the territory back, so now the Axis are just ahead on territory game. Just. It may be the edge they need, but they need something to, they need to make attempt to take out this crocodile. It's going to make short work of every infantry team on the planet. On the planet, on the map. And he retreats to the mortar section. And now he's going after the MG, and wisely retreats as well. Now I expect some Panther player out right about now. There's a Panzer IV from uh, Wehrmacht's player Desert Fox. I'm expecting the Panther from XL any moment now. But I could be wrong. And as if anticipating the same thing, Sedum goes ahead and throws down a 17 pounder emplacement, covering the uh, right side courtyard. They do have a lot of vehicles on the field. There's one mortar half track, one infantry half track, the uh, Marta III, of course, the Panzer IV that just came on. And also a pack. But that's all, and they're gonna have to be calling some more stuff on. Here comes Desert Fox with a, another heavy machine gun. Section here. And uh, Sedum is placing another Vickers emplacement. Which means that they've captured that. They're back ahead on territory and X's pop is starting to bleed. Pensaphor is pushing up by himself on the left hand side. Is he going to see the Crocodile Sherman and go after it? There is the AT gun here. Uh, the Staghounds run into the infantry half track. The AT gun did get one shot off the Panzer IV. It did do a little bit of damage to it, but the Panzer IV retreats. Here's another Panzer IV IST on the on the right hand side there. From XL. I was expecting a little bit more heavy armor, but I guess I was wrong. What do I know? I'm just a commentator. The Panzer IV was poking up again, and there is an attack from Chips and Gravy going ahead. Machine gun, uh, the Crocodile Sherman, and a rifle squad. Staghound, 17 pounder, hitting up the Mata 3. It's another Vickers in, that's the Vickers emplacement has suppressed the machine gun team. And the Mata 3 wisely pulls out of the fire of the 17 pounder. Over on the left hand side, the machine gun did manage to set up the building. It's shooting up those stormtroopers. Before they run away, they're suppressed. The Sherman the Crocodile of the Cal is doing some damage to them along with the AT gun there. Now there's a lot of infantry in the middle here, or quite a bit of infantry at any rate. The um, Grenadiers and uh, two squad depends on Grenadiers. Oh, one shot from the Panzer IV takes the Rifle Squad down to half health. Four men left. They're going for the Sticky Bomb. They're winding up for the people. It's just pretty close enough. But it's going to get stuck on the head. Just means the pen the is the Sticky Bomb going to come out? No, it's not. He's going to get it away. And now the Pentagrams and the Stormies are going to make mincemeat of those Rifemen. Heroes all. They tried their best, but they just couldn't make it. Two Vickers and Prismas, well placed in choke truck. points by Sedum have taken out some uh, infantry there and the Calliope Barrage comes down on the infantry blob. It does a bit of damage but nothing to write home about. The Pentafort is on half health as are uh, the Stormtrooper, the Pentagon of squads are more or less full. There's still that mortar half track of that one. It's, uh, doing some counter-battery fire on the uh, light mortar teams. The machine gun once again suppressing the Panzer Grenadier squad. Here comes the Crocodile. No mucking about. It's going to try to get as much damage as it can. They are not healthy. They're dying like flies. Very toasty, hot, fiery flies. The Vickers placement over here is on uh, very, very low health. Second fix emplacement covering covering the road and hedge choke point here is on mostly full health. So that's going to be an asset as we enter what is the late game. Cromwell and Firefly on the field now from Sabine. And that's going to be um, quite good at taking out all this light armor that uh, Panzer Elite inevitably have on the field at any one time. And the P4 of course. The Staghound on full health, hanging out by himself on the right hand side. The IST hasn't done anything. 
And I guess that hasn't really had anything to shoot at. And the Allies are going to capture this territory and really start doing damage to the um, Axis population. Stormtroop squad on about half health, three men left creeping up, going to have a look. Company Marta 3 takes a shot at the Vicar emplacement and takes it out. That's well played. The mortar team is just pulling back a little bit. There's still the 17 pounder emplacement covering this right hand courtyard. All on his lonesome, as it were, AT wise. Mortar half track. Still trying to do what it can. In mid, it is going after the Vicar's emplacement. Little whittle it down. There's another MG nest over here from Chips and Gravy. And they are building up an armored force with machine gun in the sandbag emplacement. And are they going for it? On the left hand side they have one pack, the Marder, the Stormies, the Shrex. That is not a good thing to rush your army into Allied uh, Force. The Firefly is already on half health. The Cromwell command tank. Oh, main gun destroyed from the Firefly. The Calliope Barrage goes on it. Firefly goes down. The pack gets the vet, but oh, it nearly goes down to the Calliope Barrage. Calliope Barrage did quite a lot of damage. You can kill anything, but everything's now on very low health. Marta 3. Oh, the Cromwell command tank goes down to the Panzer 4, which is on zero health. It does get vet 1. Here comes the AT gun. Two AT guns left hand side. The Panzer 4 goes down. For some reason the crocodile is on full health, it didn't take one shot that whole engagement. Now the Axe is going to get excited and go for the push now that they've stopped that one so easily. That IST is on full health and could easily make mincemeat of this machine gun team. Especially with the Marta's health, by itself you can do fine. The AT guns, there's still two AT guns over here and they could do all sorts of damage to all this light armor they have on the field. There is a pack there. They have a crew, but they just need to. Maybe they don't have the infantry to do it anyway. They want to leave their infantry as infantry and not waste them on recruiting a pack. So allies have been just ahead the whole game, just getting the better of most of the engagements, holding the majority of the territory. Here's another Panzer Fall from Desert Fox. And for Sadim, another a Churchill AVRE along with a Bofors team and Recon Tommies. Here comes the IST. Is it going to go after the AT gun? No, it's going to take one shot at the Sherman Crocodile. <laughs> the shot from the AT gun misses. He's a lucky, lucky P4 IST. Stormtroopers pushing up by themselves in stealth going after either the Vickers emplacement or the 17 pounder, the stag hand is going to run into them. Oh no! And he does, and he's going to... One Shrek takes him down just above half health, one two thirds health. The Stormies aren't taking much damage and they wisely take the trench. Going to shoot out the 17 pounders. Now the Pan's Force coming up 17 pounders gonna shoot at him if he's Yep, he rotates it around. That Pan's Force gonna take a lot of damage. Yep, one quarter health per shot, more or less. Here comes the crocodile, and that's gonna be short work of the Stormies inside that trench. Yep, it already gains vets. It's now vet one. The Stormies are not healthy. The Pan's Force takes another shot, it's down below half health. The Stormies are gonna have to retreat the Marta. The Infantry half track and the IST are pushing up on this flank to give a little bit of support. The AVRE must have fired a shot and did some damage there as well. He's now retreating back into a light to cool down. Allies still just ahead on territory. Still just ahead on pop. Axes must be losing pop the whole time. And I really can't see. Well, uh, there goes the stag hand. I wonder what the axes can do. The axes can turn this around if they play a little bit smarter and if they have some more assault infantry take out these AT guns.
they can't do the job with armor now. They There's another stormy squad with assault rifles. Grenadier squad with a machine gun, but it's going to run into this crocodile Sherman who's going to do a lot of damage. And he kills Enemy all of them. Destroyed. and does take one shot from the pack. So that crocodile is now on about three quarters health. creeping forward, the Stormy Squad just doing recon, Calliope shotgun is going on the pack and it does take me out the crew retreats. The pack is still up for now, it gets taken out. So, there is very little AT on the field from Axis. The Marder is on no health, main gun down, sitting at base trying to retreat or repair, I can't tell, it retreats, it's just gone there. Here's another Panzer IV from Desert Fox, he must have a few, it's got to be his last one for sure. It's becoming increasingly unlikely that the Axis is going to win this one. We have another call on here, it's another Bren carrier from Sedim. Allies still ahead on territory and We're probably going to try get this one as well, but there is a Panzer Grenadier squad and a Stormy squad in the territory, probably going to stop it from flipping. Here's another Marta 3 from XL. They're probably going to need that to take out that crocodile, it's been a thorn in their side the whole time. And they are just creeping forward, the Bren carrier with a Tommy squad inside by the looks of it. I guess I was wrong. I said at the beginning that um, Sedim was playing Commandos, but he can't be. He's got to be playing Artillery. Haven't seen one Commando squad out of him yet. And that Bren carrier is going to get hit by the Marta. The Marta misses its first shot. Lucky. Must be the dodge chance on light vehicles. Second shot hits him. He's well below half health on one shot. One more shot from the Marta 3. No, he doesn't get it. On the right hand side, the Stormies stealth are going up for a little scout. The 17 pounder is taking a shot at that Grenadier squad with MGs. The Stormies are probably going to go after the 17 pounder, it's on very low health. And if they've got a bundle grenade or a Shrek, but it doesn't look like they have a Shrek, so if they've got a bundle grenade, they might be able to take it out. Then I guess they're just going to bypass it. It's probably looking for the... Calliope. He can be the RE. Is the AVRE is gonna spot the Stormies, is it? No, they just get away. AVRE was just setting up there beside that trench. Calliope's firing again at takes out that last pack that was decrewed. And this Pence going to be escorted on very low health, three guys left. And as this game draws on, I just... I... There, there is just less and less ways that Axis can win this. Some very clever play from these Stormtroopers maybe. Maybe they have some heavy armor they could bring on if they had pop. A well-timed counter push. There's the bundle name, the 17 pounder goes down, and the Grenadier Squad, uh, the... Stormtrooper gets vet, and now these Stormtroopers are going to get run down by all this light armor they have. That, that Crocodile Sherman's doing a lot of damage. Here comes the T4 and the IST. I don't know if they'll be able to take out that Recon Tommy Squad. Uh, the IST doing a bit of damage to his own men there. Here comes the Marta pushing up, he wants to get shots on the Crocodile or the AVRE, here comes the AVRE. He's not going to take a shot. Here goes the... Oh, it doesn't do any damage, that's not very good at all. Rifle section KIA. One... Two anti-tank guns 
over on the left hand side that's going to take a few shots at that uh, armor. This Panzer four is Panzer four and this Marder are just chasing down this AVRE. They want to get it out of the fight as soon as possible. It's down to 5%. It's running. It's trying to retreat. It goes down and the Panzer IV gets that. Stormtroopers in the river very slow being spotted by the uh, Crocodile Sherman. Very slowly getting away. Here comes some Panzer Grenadiers going after the AT guns. Pat, Pat, Pat takes it out too easy. Crocodile Sherman's coming after them. Is this it? The Axis might pull this out now that they've, they did this rush. The perfect bundle, bundle grenade on the 17-pounder. They rush their armor through. They've captured the territory back. And now they're getting all their pop back. 2.35 a minute. That's just brilliant play. Well played at the, at the end game. Exactly what we want to see. It's brilliant. Brilliant. And now these pens are going to do is just going to pat, pat, pat down that Vickers machine gun emplacement. Here's another Tommy call in. Another Tommy call in with friends and rifle grenades. And he wants to bring up that IST, but there is an AT gun there. He's going to have to use his Panzer Grenadiers to take it out. Meanwhile, in mid, Stormy's on half health. Two guys left going after this emplacement. That's both his AT gun and a machine gun emplacement. Pardon me. Here comes the Panzer IV, gunning straight up the middle. Forward Around the house. Around the house, down the road, wants to go after that AT gun as soon as possible. IST hits up the AT gun. Tommy's buttoning the IST, that's probably a very good choice. It's not going to be enough. That AT gun retreats. And now they just mop up those Tommies at will. And the Calliope from midfield is firing a barrage at German forces and they've done a bit of damage to that house but missed almost entirely the army. Here's a big Rothman blob now coming in. They're going to go for sticky bombs and do everything they can to take out this armor rush. If they can take it out, they will win this game because the Axis can't have much left. But no, they're bypassing it completely. IST's got that one now. That's not good for the Allied players. And Chips and Grave is going to pull off the Sherman Calliope. IST and the Panzer IV just chasing down these Raffman. I guess they don't have sticky reporting they have destroyed a German target. It did kill that Pentagon and Discord in the house. And they did get the sticky bomb off on the IST and immobilized. That's not that's not what they wanted. It's got the same amount of health it had before. Now it just can't move. They really wanted to destroy it. But I guess immobilized is as good as you're gonna get. You're gonna have to live with it. Tommy's uh, going up the mid, heading towards the left hand side, gotta try and capture as much territory as possible since all the action's happening down here on the right hand side. There's still that half health two man stormy squad uh, reconning around by themselves. Grenadier squad with machine gun ran into the two depleted Tommy squads and the rifle squad with BARs. This is to the wire. I have no idea who's going to win this now. I can't tell who's got what colons left. All I know is if it's going the Allies' way and it's being destroyed. completely turned around. They did take out the machine gun in that house there with the rifle grenades. That's good play from Sedum. Grenadiers capturing this territory. P Panzer four running up behind the <laughs> this last bastion in middle. This territory is also being captured by the uh, Pentagonadiers in this house. Two-man Stormy Squad are coming up to do some damage. They turned around the AT gun. Stormy Squad with assault rifles. Trying to take out that uh, AT gun before it does any more damage to this Panzer IV. The Bofus is trying to destroy an infantry. It's not very good at killing infantry at all. The Stormies get that. The AT gun retreats. Tommy Squad, oh, oh, do it and get it, sticky bomb out of the Panzer IV, it is losing, 
destroyed engine. It's not going anywhere soon. And this Bofus is going to finish it off, and it gets there. Incredible. Incredible. Well played from both sides. Only just in Ally's favor for the majority of the game, and then the Axis come and turn it around with a perfectly timed armor push down the right-hand side after taking out the 17-pounder. Completely turned this game around. Fantastic play. Fantastic. But it's not over yet. It's not over yet, and these Tommies are still capturing more territory, but the Axis just have more stuff on the field at this point, and they're outcapping their allied opponents, and I'd say at this point that the Axis are going to win. This is a fresh IST. And a fresh crocodile. What's going on down here? Infantry half track on half health. There's that um, completely immobilized Pentafor IST just hanging out there. It can't go anywhere, it can't do anything, it's just gotta sit still. Mata 3 on low health is pulling back. And I'd say that it's going to be game in three minutes. It seems like the Allies going to lose on territory. Tommy's getting into that building. And Grenadiers probably could have done a lot of damage chasing them down, but just playing it safe. You can't go wrong with playing it safe. AT gun getting shots off on the IST. Now well below half health. Another shot, boom, down to 5%. It's running away as fast as it can. Two minutes and 37, uh, two minutes, <clears throat> pardon me, two minutes and 20 seconds left until the Allies lose on territory, so they need to capture something. And they're chasing down this IST, it's on 5%, the AT is not going to be able to get it though. But... These grenades aren't going to do enough damage, but they do button it, which means it's going to be slowed, and the AT gun might just be able to come up behind it and snag it just at the end of the game. AST is in lockdown, trying to get as much damage as possible on this Tommy's to stop it being buttoned. The AT gun is going to get the shot. It's moving up. It's going to turn around. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Pardon me. And it does get the kill! One IST down. This is to the wire. One minute, 30 seconds left until the Allies lose on territory. Both sides now down to their last call on for sure at this point. Two Grenadier squads on full health run into a Jeep. Probably gonna make short work of that Jeep too. IST still hanging out. Tommy's might be able to take out this squad of Pens Grenadiers. They're on very low health. They jump into that building for a bit of protection. Here comes the Grenadiers chasing down this sniper. That one sniper. And they might get him too, but he does stealth up. He's going to get a shot off. He does get one kill, but it's not going to be enough. He dies to the Grenadiers. Poor sod. 40 seconds left until allies lose on territory. If they're very lucky, they might be able to capture something and turn this around, but I don't see it happening. They don't have enough infantry on the field at all. 30 seconds left. This crocodile is chasing down these grenadiers and they may be able to take it out. It's maybe able to take them out, as it were. English. Five seconds. And that will be GG. Last laugh, as it were. GG's all round. 
There's that fuck saying he's got nothing left. Those grenadiers were it, he says. Said him correctly, identifying, yes, we've all got nothing. Chips and Grave is saying you needed more infantry, and that was possibly true. And yet the Allies are just shooting everything they can off the field. And the only thing left is this machine gun bunker, which the Marta 3 will destroy. <laughs> Pardon me. And there it goes. Desert Fox killed by annihilation. As soon as this AT gun manages to retreat off the field, it will be game over. Anytime. And some confusion about how the game is supposed to end, but I'm telling you it's when that AT gun withdraws. But they don't know that. <laughs> Excel saying, do you have anything on the field? <laughs> Gibson Gravy says, maybe. <laughs> Allies trying to sneak a win if they both got the timer at different times. In any case, the game will be over in 40 seconds, and we'll find out who actually won, though it will be the Axis. <laughs> 10 seconds. Sorry about the ending fatigue, dear viewers. Normally games are over much snappier than this. 0 seconds, playback over and the Axes will have won that. Excellent, so the winners are Desert Fox as Wehrmacht and XL 312 as pens relate the losers chips and gravy as american uh, armor and sadim as uh, british artillery a very very even game allies just ahead the whole way on territory but a very well timed armor push in the end game completely turned it around and ended the game hope you enjoyed it thanks very much for watching